The electricity grid is the largest machine we humans have ever created, and it needs to grow even further to bring renewable energy to the people who need it. But how can we build a renewables-based energy system of the future that works for all of us? And where will we find the space for this enormous machine? The answer to both, with intelligent spatial planning. This is Energy in Space, planning the energy transition. To understand the scale of the challenge at hand, take a look at the City of Lights, Paris. The inner city is around 105 square kilometers large, and it takes about two and a half hours to walk from one side to the other. Let's use Paris as a reference point to explore the potential size of the area needed for the decarbonized energy system. To start, let's examine the space we'll need for solar power generation. It is estimated that in order to reach the European climate goals, solar photovoltaic installations could provide up to 24% of the EU's electricity needs by 2030. For this, we would require about 10,700 square kilometers of land for solo installations. That's around 100 times the size of Paris. That may seem like too many baguettes, but with intelligent spatial planning, we can reduce the amount of space required for solar generation. Firstly, maximizing rooftop and balcony solar has the potential to reduce the space requirements by 10%. Additionally, combining solar panels with existing activities like farming can further reduce the space needed and even provide shade to crops and animals in an increasingly warmer world. Another major part of the decarbonized energy system is wind power. By 2030, electricity generated from wind on land could meet more than 23% of Europe's electricity demand. This would require around 29,000 square kilometers of land for onshore wind turbines. That's around 275 times the size of Paris. If we lined up all of these Parises, it would take around 29 days to walk across them all. Talk about needing a glass of champagne. To build this renewable energy infrastructure in the most efficient way possible, Spatial planners analyze current land use patterns to identify suitable locations. They look for open spaces, unused lands, and areas with low environmental impact to minimize disruptions. Planners also study the geographical features and resources available in the region, meaning places with strong winds for wind turbines and sunny areas for solar farms. One extremely windy place is the sea. Wind farms located offshore could cover more than 14% of the EU's electricity needs by 2030 and would require an estimated 14,000 square kilometers of space. That's over 135 times the size of Paris. Just imagine if the Eiffel Tower was 135 times larger. It would be as tall as a marathon as long. With fishing, shipping, and protective areas for marine life, the sea can be a busy place. Spatial planners have a tough job of bringing all these different interests to the same table and drawing up plans from multi-use areas. For example, by creating shipping lanes and offshore wind parks, discovering ways for fisheries to exist around wind turbines, and promoting measures to make offshore wind and subsea cables enhance biodiversity. The energy transition will also require the deployment of new power lines to move electricity from where it's generated to where it's used. Up to 6,300 square kilometers of land dedicated to new high voltage transmission lines will be needed in Europe by 2030 to reach our decarbonization targets. This is a rather large number that equals over 60 times the size of Paris. Now that's a lot of tourists. Electricity grids just like renewable energy, can benefit from multi-use infrastructure like farming under the power lines. Spatial planners can also co-locate the substations needed for the grid in areas previously used for industrial purposes, as well as along existing transportation and other utility networks to minimize disruption and infrastructure duplication. Finding space for renewables and the electricity grid is key. We have to act fast but with intelligent and collaborative spatial planning, it can be achieved. 
For more information on spatial planning and the grid, check out our website at renewables-grid.eu.